This is based on a true story, which I found very intriguing. What did you think of the story when you first read the script? Well, uh, I I was uh, I hadn't wasn't familiar with the book. I, I I basically was told the story by Randall Wallace, who I'd worked with when we were soldiers a few years back, and and uh, and I was interesting. Uh, I was interested from the get go. I thought even if it even if it wasn't a book or based on something, I thought it was an interesting journey for this. Uh, um, this pastor and, and the, the journey with his son and, and his family, and um, and the script is uh, it, it was was really nicely done. You know, it's not a obviously it's not a a subtle title, uh, and and how you tell that story without it feeling like a you know like a two-hour sermon is, is I think a tough thing to do. But I really felt like Randy found a way into it um, that felt really honest to me. Um, so that you as an audience, regardless of your, what you think, heaven, there is a heaven, there isn't a heaven, that you could go on this trip and follow this family in this small town and watch these events uh, as they transpired, as told by the Burpos. And, and I thought uh, uh, it, was, it was quite a success because the conflict of, of everything that they go through is, uh, it, it, is probably uh, the, the way it would have happened. Did you talk to Todd Burpo a lot before delving into this character? Not really, you know, I, I, uh, I Skyped with him. We had a very 2013 uh, introduction. It was, uh, he was on the road and I was, and we, we Skyped a few times and, uh, um, and, and I met him, you know, he came by the set a couple of times and uh, it was very nice and, and uh, forthcoming with, with, you know, questions. But, you know, listen, it's not like uh, playing uh, Nixon or something where we all have a preconceived idea of who he is. So, you know, I, I, I certainly wanted to, to, you know, find the guy t that would feel honest to somebody who was familiar with the book. but but more importantly was just the theme of the story. Ultimately, this film is relatable to anyone who has taken a risk for one of their deepest beliefs. What is the biggest risk that you have had to take for a belief that you have? What did Randy Wallace say to that question? I have not interviewed him yet. Rats. Whatever <laughs> Randy says. Whatever Randy says? <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll just take his answer on that. I, I don't know, that, that's, a, uh, that's a, a great question. Um, but one that I would need more time to dwell on okay. to give you an honest I'll ask answer. You later. Okay, I'll <laughs> <This> be here. <laughs> this film really had me thinking. I w I'm one of those people who kind of live by I don't really believe it until I see it, and I really was thinking about that in this film. Where do you stand on that? Yeah, I, I think so too. I, I I'm I guess I uh, the notion that Todd, even though he's a pastor, would would have his faith kind of rattled by the boy coming at him and saying what you have been saying is consistent with what he saw when he was on his deathbed was an interesting starting point um, for, for his his own struggle but I I really like the way the film doesn't um, I don't know it doesn't seem to get bogged down or distracted with the question of heaven is it whether it's real or, or not real um, certainly for people who think that it you know, believe in heaven. I, I don't think it's a one-size-fits-all concept, and and uh, and so it's an impossible task to try and fulfill that that idea. There there is kind of a, a sense of what Colton describes in the book for you to take away, but it focuses more on the struggle of this family and the. the the surprising conflict that set up when when he brought this information, not only you know within the church and the community, but uh, um, you know for Todd himself. Yeah. Made in Hollywood.